consider this disk here, okay? Uh, if I go ahead and say it's a thin disk and say I take out this uh, portion around this center and other, you know, a smaller circular disk, then it takes shape of a washer, all right? So what we have here is, let's say the thickness of the disk is D, or sorry, or the washer in this case, and the radius of the inner disk that's removed is a small r, all right, which is a concentric circular disk, all right, and the outer radius is, say, capital R. Then if we would like to compute the volume of this, you can see this uh, outer disk has a volume of, Oh, I'm sorry, uh, pi capital R square D, right? Okay, and if you look at the inner disk, okay, that is uh, this one, then this has a volume of what? Pi small r square D, all right? And if you take the difference of the two, you get the volume of this washer, okay? Now we will apply the washer method to obtain the volume of the solid that's generated by revolving the region bounded by the graphs of these two functions, okay? So, what we do first is we graph these two functions and note that this is the region that we are going to revolve. Note that the two curves, they intersect at negative one, two, and two, five, and have to be revolved around the x-axis. So look at another picture. This is the region that we are going to revolve to obtain the solid that we want, okay? So when we do that, all right, what we are doing is that we are looking at this elementary stripe here, okay? And when we revolve this little segment around the x-axis, what are we going to get? We are going to get this disk right here whose thickness is how much? Its thickness is uh, delta x, okay, and outer radius is x plus 3, if this is a typical point x, y, and inner radius is given by this parabolic graph, all right, so we have a washer here, okay, and let's compute the volume of this, uh, this washer, okay, so what that will be, the pi times the outer radius is square minus the inner radius is square times the thickness, okay? And if we just go ahead and accumulate all, accumulate all these elementary washers from this point to this point, the shape that we will get would look like this, all right? Okay, you can see all, all of them are added up and I'm showing you a slightly rotated picture. And if you set up the integral, which will range from x equals negative one to x equals two and work it out, the volume would be 117 pi over five units, okay?